Sunskill here. Normally I'm not a big fan of uh, unboxing videos, but I got something a little special here that I'm going to open up for you. Stick around. Gee, I wonder what this could be. Let's have a look. Zeniba? Zeniba? Okay. Here comes the moment of truth, the sexy part. Are we ready? Here we go. Ibanez Pia in Panther Pink. So this was a uh, purchase made online but delivered to my local store here. So I've always wondered with uh, these guitars that you buy online and especially ones with Floyd Roses if they're in tune. Pretty darn close. So this is my Ibanez Steve Vai Signature Pia model guitar in Panther Pink. And I'll get into some of the features and specs of this guitar a little bit later in this video as well as some sounds. First I wanted to talk a little bit about why I like this guitar and why I bought it. And uh, basically uh, Steve Vai is a world famous guitar player in guitar playing circles. He's uh, just a, a fantastic player. Uh, I, like, I like his playing quite a bit and I like a lot of his music and uh, he's got you know tremendous history of, of playing and developing instruments uh, but you know you're looking at this guitar and you might think like it screams you know 80 shred machine and you know it's only good for soloing and you know and the widdly widdly stuff like in the Steve Vai style of playing but really the the point of this video is to demonstrate that you know you can't judge a guitar by its looks uh, guitars are just tools that can be used in any style, any genre of music. There are a lot of players that play guitars like this that, you know, have adopted it to their own style. Uh, one of them, for example, being um, John Mayer, uh, shown here playing a pink uh, Jackson guitar equipped with a Floyd Rose. And Jeff Schroeder here as well from Smashing Pumpkins, also shown playing like a pinkish, orangey, reddish um, Yamaha Pacifica equipped with a Floyd Rose. So really, uh, I wanted a guitar that had, you know, this type of pickup configuration, this thin, skinny wizard neck, and of course, like a flow, fully floating, uh, Floyd Rose system. And, uh, I just like the looks of it and I'm going to be using it in a demonstration here of some different styles and, and, and I'm going to play it in the future during different studio sessions and, and with my band and other projects that I'm involved with. So we'll get into some of the specs and features now, and then a little playing demo after that. Thanks. I'll cover some of the features and details uh, of the specs on this guitar. Uh, for full information on that, uh, please check out the Ibanez uh, website, where you'll get uh, everything you might be curious about. Uh, we'll start with the headstock here, which is painted pink to match the body. The uh, logo is uh, sort of a multicolor hologrammy type thing, which changes colors. It's got the Pia icon uh, right there. Uh, gold Godo tuners. I know gold is some people's favorites. <laughs> uh, they're not locking. Obviously, having locking tuners would be redundant with a, a Floyd Rose floating system that has a, a lock system up here. Uh, Perloid uh, truss rod cover. And the back of the neck has a uh, volute on it with the two screws that attach in uh, for the locking nut. Uh, it's a five piece maple neck here. So you got maple, walnut, maple, walnut, maple. Uh, fretboard is rosewood with lumen lay dot fret dot markers that glow in the dark. Uh, the Pia inlay, of course, 24 frets with the last four being scalloped. Hopefully that can show up there on the camera. You can see the little digging out right here. And the 
neck joint is highly sculpted here and here with four bolts so you can get really high up on the uh, fretboard uh, perloid pickguard with demarzio utopia pickups a five-way selector the selections are uh, in fifth position here it's the uh, neck humbucker second position would be the inner coil of the neck humbucker with this single coil uh, third position would be just this single coil on its own fourth position would be the single coil with the inner coil of the bridge pickup and then lastly last position is the uh, bridge pickup humbucker on its own uh, as you can see i'll just zoom in here a little bit uh, it's obviously got this really cool uh, gold etching on it and then if you look real close you can see how there's gold etching on the pink uh, pickup cover underneath and the knobs also have some pink kind of i don't know what this is abalone or something like that uh, on top which is another nice touch uh, i guess technically this isn't a floyd rose it's uh, the ibanez edge system but i think it's made by floyd rose the guitar comes with two whammy bars a carbon fiber one which is really light really light lightweight and uh, kind of bulkier easier to grab i like the metal one just because that's what i'm used to for my other guitars obviously this really cool sculpted pedal in uh cut out here where you can grab the guitar it's kind of a updated version of steve Vai's uh, monkey grip from his other uh, gem guitar uh the back has got a magnetic uh, scratch plate here that you can pull off so that you can get into the screws or sorry the uh, springs here which is useful if you're changing string gauges or changing tunings on the guitar just kind of snaps back in place little perloid uh, cover here for the uh, jack the jack itself is sort of recessed in and kind of angled so it kind of goes in like that i have not put strap locks yet on this guitar i've also put strap locks on it and um strap locks of course tuners and strap locks of course um, of course, strap locks, and uh, of course, strap locks. Whoa. Lastly, this Panther pink finish is really awesome. It can look sort of purpley in uh, certain lights. It has just the tiniest little bit of sparkle in it. There are four other colors, sorry, three other colors for uh, this model. Uh, Envy green, Sundew gold, and uh, Stallion white, which are pretty uh, awesome too. But yeah, this one was the most eye-catching for me. Uh, let's get into some sounds here.
So there you have it, folks. Some uh, non-shreddy tones from this here guitar. Uh, it's got twang, it's got ambience, it's got uh, fuzz ability, and uh, I love it. It is a lot more diverse than what the stereotypes might say. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned for more upcoming ones. Please like and subscribe, and everybody, please stay healthy. Take care. Thanks for watching.